Hi, I'm Dr. Vincent Ho. I'm a gastroenterologist and a senior university lecturer. I'm also the gut doctor. This is a story of burping. A burp is a sudden escape of gas from the esophagus to the top of your throat. It can be loud or silent. Burping is also known medically as belching or eructation. In order to understand what happens with burping, let's look at the food pipe or esophagus. At either end of the esophagus is a valve called a sphincter. The upper and lower esophageal sphincters are quite strong and can stop food coming out after you eat. This is why you can stand upside down after eating without food falling back into your mouth. There are two types of burping. The first is known as gastric burping, which comes from your stomach. It is the most common type of burp. Gastric burping is a normal way our body gets rid of swallowed air. We may not realize it, but every time we swallow food, around a tablespoon worth of air also enters our stomach. Eventually, this buildup of air stretches the stomach and causes both esophageal sphincters to relax. For the air that escapes upwards from your stomach, your abdominal muscles help to push the air out. These muscles are in a part of your body called the diaphragm, which is the muscle responsible for breathing, and also the muscles at the front of the abdomen, which you might call your abs or six pack. Together, these muscles push the air up your esophagus and then out of your mouth or sometimes your nose. Vibration of expelled air against certain structures in your upper airways creates the burping noise. Gastric burping is normal and you can do up to 30 burps a day. We don't just swallow air while eating. This is occurring all throughout the day. This explains why people can burp before meals as well as after. Gastric burping becomes more frequent after drinking busy drinks like lemonade because of the carbon dioxide gas which adds to the air in the stomach and makes more burps. Burping can also increase when we do a lot of physical activity as body movement and increased abdominal pressure causes relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter. Gastric burping is usually not a problem for people except for the rare situations where some people can swallow lots of air. This is called aerophagia and it can make people feel bloated and experience a lot of burping. A good night's sleep can help reduce burping and eating different foods that have less sugar and starch in them can also help. Burping is usually fine, but it can turn into a problem if people are burping way too much. This doesn't usually happen with gastric burping, but it can happen with a second type of burping called supragastric burping. Supra means above, and with supragastric burping, all the action is happening above the stomach. Normally, when we try and take a deep breath in, the breathing muscle contracts. This creates a negative pressure in the esophagus like what you get in a vacuum. This means that when the upper esophageal sphincter is relaxed, air is sucked into the esophagus. Now the air rushes into the esophagus, but in supragastric burping, we find that the lower esophageal sphincter is closed, so the air never enters the stomach. The pressure of air builds in the lower esophagus and the abdominal wall muscles help to kick the air back up the esophagus and out of the mouth. Some people who suffer from supergastric burping can burp hundreds of times a day, but thankfully there are ways to help with supergastric burping. One way teaches sufferers to use mind strategies such as cognitive behavioral therapy. Another way is to try special exercises that focus on the proper use of our breathing muscle, the diaphragm. Hope this has been a helpful video. As always, Leave your questions down below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the Gut Doctor channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.